Elon Musk's SpaceX is no stranger to brutal tech battles with its competitors, and when it comes to regulatory changes that can harm its exclusive branding and high-maintenance users, it brings out some big guns. This time, Musk is drawing out a battlefield at Starlink to fight an unlikely competitor and the FCC. In this video, we're breaking down the deets on SpaceX's fight against the regulatory change that could cripple Starlink. Let's dive in. First up, why is Starlink so important for SpaceX? We all know Elon's great philanthropic plans aren't anywhere near to feeding the world's poor, but it's clear that he wants to give them a reliable internet connection so they can make their own livelihood. Essentially, that was the greater good of society branding for Musk's third favorite child, Starlink. We know Tesla and SpaceX are his top projects, so it's fair to give the satellite system a third on the podium. Yet for the rocket man, every business move is much more than meets the eye. There's always a hidden agenda behind his every move. Now it's pretty cool and innovative. Giving internet to Africa is the new it of the billionaire's philanthropy club, especially after Amazon got on the joyride as well. And you know what happens next. Elon doesn't just enter the rings to play, he wants to win. He took his free internet campaign up a notch when he announced that it isn't just an ordinary satellite internet constellation as Amazon made it to be. In fact, its sole purpose is to fund Starlink, a new gen transportation system that'll settle humankind on Mars. Yep, all of this sounds like a meta rewriting of Interstellar, yet it worked like a charm. Who doesn't want to do their part for the great big space immigration? As of Today, almost 2,800 satellites are in orbit, which makes the company a mass-produced mega constellation. It's the hero of remote connectivity and high-speed internet accessibility. Yet, every story needs a villain. This time, Elon Musk is fighting another U.S. Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, regulation. And he has found his new villain in, hear this out, Dish Network. Hey Dish, whatever happened to not picking a fight that you can't win? Next up, what's the FCC regulation that could cripple Starlink? Remember when Verizon introduced the 5G home internet subscription package, and you thought a fast internet connection would make winning League of Legends spars much easier? All of your dreams went down the Verizon drain when your home address wasn't listed in the subscription area. That was a big bruh moment for many of us, and one day, the FCC decided to do something about it. The regulation office has started its big plans to expand the 5G connectivity for more extensive terrestrial use. Now that's all good and useful, but here's a slight catch. Expansion plans mean making use of the 12 GHz frequency band that Starlink's gate keeps for itself. Opening up their moneymaker to every US internet provider is a big no for Elon Musk. To be fair, he has some solid receipts. The 12 GHz band is already very crowded. What's really concerning is the fact that it's just not Musk who's capitalizing on this exclusive frequency. Many of the US satellites satellite constellations rely on the band to beam data on the ground. If many internet providers start jumping on the same ship, it's clear that the chances of sinking become much more likely. The most legit issue arises from Starlink because of their net of 2,800 satellites. You either go big or you go home, right? And we all know the CEO of SpaceX doesn't back away from going big, ever. The problem is, as soon as every 5G user connects to the 12 gigahertz band, it's quite literally over for the Starship moneymaker. Tech experts project that almost 80% of their users will face one connectivity interference or another. There goes our big plan to move to Mars, and we might have Dish Network to blame for ruining the great Earth escape of 2050. So why is Dish Network beefing with Starlink? If you're one of those who have cussed Dish for losing the signal at every movie night, join the club. Come on, how many times have you reset your Dish receiver or updated the system? It keeps stacking your bill every month, and it still doesn't work. Pretty sure it was looking for a redemption arc when it promised to deliver a flawless 5G experience to its users, but that means it'd have to rain on Starlink's parade. FCC hadn't even blinked after proposing their band extension plan when Dish entered the ring 
Wang with its internet subscription plans. That's when it made the communications regulation body its homie and presented a proposal on why opening up the 12 gigahertz spectrum for cellular networks is the idea of the century. Yep, they can't fix the satellite position on time, but would work harder than the devil to tank Starlink. The battle became a full-fledged war when Elon's reps submitted a proposal of their own, which could be best summarized in one line. Dish's new plan sucks. Now, both the companies are accusing each other of gaslighting the FCC by presenting some misleading claims. For the satellite internet constellation, the radio interference on their exclusive bandwidth would make their beam completely unusable. On the flip side, Dish claims that Elon Musk is doing what he does the best, killing his competition, hoarding innovation, and manipulating the pricing. So what's going on? Moving on, what are Starlink and Dish saying? When you couldn't fight your bully, your first instinct was to call your taller and muscular elder brother or a friend. Dish followed the same middle school tactic of the Fight Tech Club as it got Dell Technologies on its side. Both of the companies are now gunning down Starlink for making the 12 gigahertz its exclusive bandwidth. They believe that cellular networks can coexist with satellite internet providers, and there's no need for Elon to create unnecessary drama. In response to some heated allegations, they politely asked the 5G coalition to do their homework. Yup, the middle school playground analogy is way more fitting than we initially intended. SpaceX's senior director, David Godman, laid out some plain physics for their competitors when he explained that opening up 5G avenues near Starlink's highly radio-sensitive dishes is a bad idea. He followed up with, this isn't a situation where there would be a software patch. This would be really extremely detrimental to the outcome if the FCC went the wrong way. The FCC is yet to decide who gets to win this round of regulations. So far, it's just another tech-related snafu that'll get buried in press releases and legal paperwork. Boring, right? But hold up, because this battle is going to take an unexpected turn. In this saga, Elon Musk fans are doing more than bashing or making memes for Dish on Twitter. Let's break it down. Moving on, how is Elon Musk making use of his loyal fan base. Here's the thing. Dish also swayed the FCC in its favor when it started to make use of the powerful 5G for 12 gigahertz coalition, which included 32 big telecommunication companies. In the US, the coalition runs a very simple yet effective narrative of beating China to secure the next-gen internet leadership. What's a better way of convincing the American public to join their cause than to involve China, right? Oldest trick in the book, and it works like a treat. Small problem though, the coalition really underestimated the Musk fan club that almost operates like a cult. What we are going to tell you might be the greatest example of weaponizing your customers to fight your battles, but the genius of the plan was immaculate. Let's give credit where it's due. So, one morning Starlink emailed 400,000 of its subscribers detailing their feud with the DISH network and the FCC's regulatory change. Now David Godman says it's all part of their keeping it real strategy for their customers. But then again, after that email spam, more than 100,000 people wrote to the FCC about why the rule change is a terrible idea. Yep, who writes the Communication Regulation Office? It hasn't been on our to-do list ever. Yet, this little maneuver might just sway the future of regulation in Elon's favor. All things considered, they've involved the general American public in their long-drawing feud with the 5G Coalition. Not to anyone's surprise, Dish is not happy about what they're calling Elon Musk's great misinformation campaign. Now the network company didn't see that one coming, did it? To tip the odds in their favor, the 5G coalition is now bringing momentum around their space clutter issue. We know what you're thinking, how original and unpredictable. Finally, how is Dish playing dirty? Dish's plan to find some victory for the 5G coalition is on the horizon. In doing so, the company is now trying to pick some fronts that align well with Starlink's mainstream criticism. You'd think it'll make a case on the company's price hike rampage to flex its exclusive bandwidth, but no, it's running the classic row of how the satellite internet constellation is saturating the low orbit surface for the future. Sounds familiar? Well, the Chinese companies were making similar claims against opponents that 
Elon didn't bother to respond to. Many tech experts claim that space clutter is bad, but it's not the rocket man who's becoming the leading cause of it. It's actually Amazon who plans on launching Kipper satellites, and the number is in the thousands. So who's gonna tell the dish execs? Any volunteers? That's what we thought. But is this gimmick enough to change FCC's mind? Only time will tell. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.